What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Blue Compass RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this brand new Grand Design Imagine Travel Trailer. This thing is super cool and has a very unique floor plan that I really haven't seen very often in travel trailers, and I think you're gonna like it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So first, let's look at the numbers on this unit. It's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,495 pounds. And you know, honestly, for the size of this unit, I thought that number would be higher than it is. So it weighs a little less than what I originally thought. 1,565 pounds worth of cargo capacity and a dry weight of 7,890 pounds. It rides on 15 inch tires. So this is a good size travel trailer. I'm gonna to venture to say it's probably about 36 feet long. And yeah, it's got a really cool interior. We're gonna hop on the inside of this thing and then come back out. Definitely recommend towing this thing with a properly equipped three quarter ton truck up uh, tow vehicle. I would not put this behind a half ton at all. All right, so we're gonna hop inside of this Grand Design Imagine 3100 RD. This has their Arctic insulation package. All right, so we're going up the Moride step above steps. Check this out. So this is a rear living room design with kind of a mid kitchen floor plan to it. Very cool, and then you have your bathroom and bedroom up front. But let's kind of dive into this one. So numbers wise, MSRP on this unit is 64,399. Um, it's gonna be a lot less than that whenever you call them and check. So that's just the MSRP, not the sale price. Coming through this unit, I love this area right here. Always love when they surround the sink with a hutch. Make this look really pretty, this is just nice. And you got isolation from the kitchen to the living room area. You have a two-person dinette right here. You may be able to seat a few more there if you really wanted to. This is essentially a couple's coach, but there's a lot of seating of, over here. And this is kind of indicative of what you see in those huge fifth wheels when you have that rear living room or the front living room type floor plan. You're gonna have your Furion 12 volt refrigerator here and your freezer. You have your high point compact microwave, three burner gas cooktop stove from Furion. A lot of big drawers here. I feel like they should have gone with like a slightly shallower drawer for silverware, things like that, and then give you some deeper drawers there for pots, pans, and such. And the cabinetry here. They've been using this design now for a few years, this kind of contrasting tone with the trim in the center. What do you think about it? Then you have your pantry space right here with its own door. Huge pantry space. All right, so let's look at the living room. That's kind of the big deal on this one. Theater seating here. Uh, you can kind of call it a love seat, but it's about the size of a sofa. This is more of a love seat, but both of these fold out into beds, so you have opposing beds and you can sleep a lot of kids in here if you really want to. You have your TV from TLC hanging here on the wall and it is on a swivel mount. Huge panoramic fireplace beneath it. You have some shallow storage right here as well for different things you might want to keep in there. And then you have a nice little storage area right here behind that glass, which folds down. You have storage above as well. Interesting batten strips. These are all, they look like LED batten strips. So your lighting in here are your batten strips because you don't have any other lighting except for that and that. But yeah, that, th these definitely look like they light up. You have two AC units in here. It seems like you could possibly put a third right there if you wanted to try to figure out how to install one. And these are Furion AC units. This space right here is cool, but it almost seems as if something should have gone here. Maybe like a little countertop shelf, something that you could use as extra storage for shoes, things like that, in this little spot right here. I like that you get 110 and you get 12 volt connections here. So if you wanna work out of your RV, you can definitely have that right here. Okay, stepping back, you have your controls. It is Bluetooth connected, so you can connect it to your device to be able to control Furion thermostat. Here's your bathroom. Good size shower, very good size shower. Has this cool kind of in-wall frosted glass. Now, there's not a heck of a lot of privacy. You can see the sprayer through here, so if you have, you know, somebody who needs to use the bathroom while somebody's in the shower, you probably are gonna see through the shower cabinetry here more storage right here and I'm just giving you guys my honest feedback again I don't work for a dealership so whatever I tell you is what I think good size medicine cabinet more storage there nice stainless steel bowl a lot of room on this side Got some drawers there more storage under there not a heck of a lot of storage though because they're blocking off where the wiring and all that stuff is okay stepping back into the 
or stepping to the front, I guess, for the main bedroom. You've got a good amount of wardrobe space, nice drawers. Got some power here, plus you have power and USB on each side here for your kind of a nightstand area, charge your phone, put your coffee, you know, things like that. You got a good sliding door right here as well to give yourself privacy. Other thermostat for the AC in here. Here's your cable power connections for your TV. Another lighted up strip right here. Got a good amount of wardrobe space in here. Does not appear to be a spot for a washer and dryer though. Another drawer there, fuses and breakers down there. And you're probably gonna have some storage under here, which you do. So you have your two bar stools right there and I'm not exactly sure where you're supposed to use them. Maybe when you flip this up, not sure. That's an interesting uh, solution, unless you, you just put the bar stools at the end of the table right here. Or maybe the table expands out and I'm just not seeing it. Let me see what's going on here. This is a table. Okay, so yeah, so this rotates. You pull this out and it rotates and it extends so you can seat four people. That's very cool. So that's what you need the bar stools for. And then you have this little storage area above that as well. Very cool. All right, let's hop outside and see what the outside of this thing is all about. Okay, starting up front, you have your power front tongue jack, spot for two 20 pound propane cans, spot for a couple batteries right there. Nice slam latch on this front storage space. Nice thick baggage doors as well. Oh, cool, it's trimmed off. So your basement storage not only has kind of a rubber diamond plated mat to it, it also is trimmed off, aluminum bath deck above it. That's nice, a lot of space. It's a big pass through, probably has a drop frame. Yep, you have a little drop frame right here which gives you all that space right there. Coming down the side of it, more ride step above steps again, Goodyear Endurance tires. Suspension wise, uh, standard leaf sprung suspension, no upgrades going on there. Definitely an area that you might wanna upgrade after a while of ownership. You have one huge awning spanning this side. Rack and pinion slide, this rides on a 10 inch I-beam frame. Coming around back, scissor jacks. You have LED lighting, ladder to get you on top. It's wired for a Furion backup camera. Tubular four inch bumper to put your sewer hose in. 50 amp connection here. Again, your other scissor jack, your other rack and pinion slide out. Up here you have a vent hood. You definitely wanna make sure this is open if you're gonna be cooking inside and using the vent. Otherwise, it's just gonna recirculate the air in your RV. Outside of, of your Furion on-demand water heater, very nice sewer connection outside of your furnace and this is where you fill up your water tank another pass through so this is really cool so this is your wet bay very indicative of a fifth wheel i love the fact that they're doing this it protects everything keeps it out of the exposed light and at the same time just gives you more premium feel you got your power disconnect there as well so whenever it's in storage you can shut off power to the battery so you don't have to worry about coming back to an rv with a dead battery awesome what do you guys think of this unit very, very cool. You can definitely see kind of the direction Grand Design's going with their Imagine series. Love the front cap with the LED light strips as well. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you again very soon.